Hey, what's up? In this After Effects tutorial, we'll be looking at how to get this sphere effect animation. Alright, let's start with a new composition, Control N. We are doing a 1080 by 1350, 30 frames per second with a 10 second duration. Alright, I'm using this because it's an Instagram friendly comp size. Okay, next, Control Y. Let's create a HD comp. Uh, you'll find out. Uh, I'll explain later why. But, yep, we're doing a HD comp here. And we will pre compose this. So let's just call this pre comp. You can call it whatever makes sense to you later. Oh, yes, let's go to our comp one. I will label it main comp. So this is our pre-com. Let's look for our grid. Apply a grid and let's increase the border in 15. And this is uh, relative to the ratio using corner points. So this is like uh, in the same ratio as our comp. 1920 by 1080 so let's go and look for our effect sphere s-p-h-e-r-e -E. apply it to our comp go into the shading i want to up my ambient so that it looks more obvious change full change the render full to outside so i just want to see the outside only and straight away we have it ready to go change our rotation i want to rotate on the y-axis so it looks like a moving globe so i'm gonna apply expression because i like i, I like how expressions make it make it easy uh you just need to apply it once so let's do a time times 360 360 is one phase or one rotation divided by 10. 10 is the comp length, 10 seconds. So, uh, so for every second time, one second will multiply by 36. So when you reach nine, nine seconds, it will loop back nicely. You can play around with the rotation play around with the rest of the XYZ rotation. Let's go and into our pre comp here. I'm gonna hide this grid and let's go and create a box for our text. So I want it to be talibur. Tal talibur if that's a word. 1920 I'm gonna divide by 4. It gives me 480. 1080 I'm gonna divide it by 10. It gives me 480 and 108 a uh, size uh, solid size here and I'm gonna pre-compose this again so this is my text source gonna enter it in I'm gonna hide my solid and bring in a text can be any text you want let's just do a random text Okay, uh, gonna make it uh, align it to the center of my comp here. So the size try to have less space around the edges. So I go back to my pre comp here. Let's look for the motion, motion tile effect. Apply it here. Nothing happened because we need to adjust this output width and height. So just now. Uh, we multiply it, we divide it by 4 and 10. So this works like a percentage. I'm using shift and then going up and down. So 400 by 1000. So I have repeated here. Repeated seamlessly. Left to right random goes back to the M here. And back on my main comp, I have this okay so we have one problem here which is why is our rotation like this 
we only want to rotate the, our y along our y axis. So it's because of our rotation order. Let's change it to x, z, y. Okay, so you only rotate on the y axis, and then let's just move the let's just move the rest z and looks like a beach ball here. Huh? Let's change it to be like this. Uh, whatever works. Whatever you fancy. Whatever you fancy. Alright, this is cute. You can play with the rest of the animation here. We have tile center. You can play with tile center, mirror edges, and the face. So, uh, for the face, we also have the horizontal face. So, let's play with the horizontal face. face. So, 180 should be right in the center here. Horizontal face. Uh, let's just use horizontal face. I'm gonna copy this expression from previously so that I don't have to do it again. So, alternate click on my face. I'm gonna paste in my expression and to offset this, let's do 180 plus whatever expression time times 360 divided by 10. And we have our horizontal phase shift turned on. Go back to our main call, see what see how it looks like. So we have uh, different animations coming on at the same time, which makes it more interesting. Play with the ambient, uh, play with the shading, the light stuff like that. But I want to show you why we do I uh, why we are using HD comp for our pre comp. Let me just turn it back. Let me turn it to a 10 by 1080 square. Going back here, you can see that sadly it stretches our spear, our text on the spear. So this is the reason why we are going for a 1920, 1920 by 1080 rectangle. So a rectangle typically will map onto the spear nicely. In our next video, we will be doing, uh, looking at this, working on the cylinder, playing around with the cylinder, cylinder effect, CC cylinder effect. One more thing is that this text here, you want to try and minimize the amount of blank space that you have because this will create this uh, blank, blank space in your repeating tile here and it might not look uh it, it gives you a very different look like that's what that's what i mean it, it gives you a very different look and then uh if you want to change this what i would suggest is to adjust the width or the height accordingly so right now we are at 480 so let's go back 1920 uh divided by divided by eight then we can scroll down to a different size and then adjust this uh, height this tau output output width yes so we should get 800 and then when you come back to the main comp we will be having a nice kind of a seamless looking design